happy Sunday everyone and happy day with the Christ peace of Christ to all and today we start a new study about the amazing beautiful wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad I wanted today to talk about this because the internet is flooded with articles speaking about the amazing wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad and actually some of them they say uh, as you see here in the article the divine wisdom of a prophet Muhammad Muhammad you don't have a wisdom of a human being he have a divine wisdom the wisdom of God Muhammad is God and his wisdom you cannot even imagine it before we start, I would like everybody to speak nicely and not to insult each other. Speak nicely to Muslims, and please, Muslims, speak nicely to Christians, and let us have a nice conversation. Here you are welcome to attack the topic, but nothing personal. The only one you can attack is me. Uh, if a Muslim is listening and he would like to share with us, please feel free. My Skype is open. You can call me immediately, no matter who you are. And we prefer if you are a scholar or somebody with a beard. The divine wisdom of the prophet. Where is this divine wisdom coming from? And where is this divine can be found? I mean, the, the divine wisdom. Where we can find the wisdom of the prophet? Who is a Muslim want to show me some of the prophet wisdom? Do we have any Muslim here would like to show us? Anyone? Would like to show us some of the wisdom of the prophet if there is any muslim and by the way why we have only 300 people here what happened you guys are busy maybe sunday is not a good day we can change the topic for tomorrow or the day after no problem where is everybody i mean we are going to talk about the wisdom the divine wisdom of the prophet muhammad and only 300 people here where is everyone? Hello, my friend from Germany. How are you? Do we have any Muslim would like to tell us what is the divine wisdom of the Prophet? Let me share with you some of the divine wisdom of the Prophet. If your wife, she argue with you, according to the Prophet wisdom, you beat her. I mean, obviously, this is an amazing divine wisdom. And the Muslims always, they try to make this uh, beating thing, uh, beat her lightly. I mean, how stupid even to say lightly. And since when a penalty is to beat someone, what, what lightly mean? I mean, it says, There's a woman who is a convert woman. She made a, a book uh, and she claimed that this verse here is saying that you stay away from them the word daraba in Arabic have many meaning and she don't even speak Arabic but the word daraba uh, have mean uh, meaning that uh, he stay away that the verse says already that you scream at them number two you jail them in their rooms and number three is you beat them and number three is no different from number one, which means there's no number one, number two, number three, really. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. You can beat them right away. But in order to fabricate and to cover up to the wisdom, the divine wisdom of the Prophet, they say here, this is not about beating them. When the Arabic word is very clear, this is about punishing your wife for not being obedient. And here we notice the divine wisdom of the Prophet. I want any Muslim to tell me when the last time you did beat your wife and what is the accomplishment of this wisdom brought to you especially if you live in America did you go to jail did your wife call the police and send you to jail for violence for domestic violence did the judge order you to stay away from her did your friend make fun of you because you are beating your wife I mean, how stupid it is to beat your wife. And what kind of a man he want to beat his wife? I mean, you are man enough to beat your wife? I mean, this is your, you, must be, you must be a hero. 
You see, only coward, only coward men, they beat their, they beat women, unless the women, I mean, attacking you and you're defending yourself. You know, like somebody, she is a woman, yes, but maybe she is boxing you or she, defending yourself is a different story. But I believe that any man who beat a woman, he is a coward man. You want to fight, fight with a man. And mine may be from not only the man, man from your size. Coward men, because outside they cannot prove themselves to be men enough, inside, indoor, they practice the manhood story. Like, I am the man. Outside is a potato. So what is the wisdom behind beating your wife? I want a Muslim to tell me what is that wisdom about. This is a divine wisdom. Don't take me wrong. This is not even Muhammad talking supposedly. This is Allah telling Muhammad what to do with your wife. What that will accomplish if I beat my wife exactly? She will be love. She will love me more. Or the purpose is just to make her obedience or obedient, as you see here. Then, if they obey you, seek not way against them. So the purpose of this wisdom is to force women by violence to be obedient. Who believe that this is a wisdom? Who believe in that? Anyone here agree with Allah? Who is a Muslim agree with Allah that this is a very right way to accomplish the mission, to make your wife obedient to you? Any Muslim? Anyone? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? What is what is good in this? What is good in this teaching? Okay, I told my wife to make me some tea, and my wife she is not making tea for me, and now I am going to beat her according to this verse, and then she will make tea for me. What kind of tea this tea is? And the funny is some Muslims, they lie to us and they say, oh, this is about your wife is a cheating on you. My friend, even if your wife is cheating on you, even if she is a cheating, why you want to beat her? Let her uh, divorce her. And this is a lie. This is not about cheating. As you see, if they are obedience, cheating in Islam, if a woman, she is married and she cheat, the punishment is death. So don't lie. This is have nothing to do with the cheating. But in order to cover up for the stupidity, they start to fabricate reasoning. What is the wisdom? Jail them in their rooms because they are not. And by the way, here, it doesn't say even they are disobedient yet. It says nushuz. Nushuz in Arabic is like, you know, it says here you fear you fear they are not really disobedient yet like you say to her make some tea for me and she said uh, okay like she is not sound happy to do it that is sign of the shoes so beat them what is the wisdom in that and how accurate that the Muslim women she is happy to practice such a wisdom that her husband will beat her anyone Bayaja, Bayajaya, Bayajaya. I don't know what they are saying. Do we have any Muslim want to say something? You believe the dancing sun in October 13, 1970. What is it? I mean, what those people are talking about? I mean, I don't know. People ask me questions, really crazy questions. Da dancing son. I think at that time, the only one dancing was my grandfather. Lord have mercy. Look what we are talking about and look the questions. Any Muslim would like to tell us what is the benefit of beating women? 
and how that accomplish the wisdom of Allah on earth anyone Miswak actually Miswak is a long route you see when Muslims they say oh we beat them with Miswak do you know what the Miswak Miswak is a very long flexible route it's not what they show you like the one is for like two inch now they are making it two inch to sell it because they are using it for tooth uh, tooth cleaning which is not really good and it's not practical you know who is going to use this uh, tooth thing I can search right now and let me do it for you for what it's called miswak and you will see the miswak is a long branch of root which is very harmful to beat with it actually they use it to beat animals so when they say to you oh we beat them with muswak actually this is they are making it worse they are making it even more ugly see this is the muswak take a look let us put it for you in the screen Nobody can play games with us. You see, this is here. We go a bit for you on the screen. This is the miswak. It's a long root, and now he cut it pieces. So do you see how long it is? It is long and flexible. It's a root. It's a root of a plant. And root of a plant is very flexible. It's very hard to break. This is why they beat with it because they beat the animal. If you beat with a normal branch, after a few beating, the branch might break. But beating with the roots, the roots is very flexible. So they say to you, we beat our wives with the miswak. This is the miswak. Do you see it? And this is the miswak after they cut it pieces. And you can tell, right? You see the sharp edges of the miswak, how it's cut off? You see? The one in the picture is at least maybe 40 centimeter. Now, after cutting it off, and you can see the edges in the screen, how it's cut off. Do you see the edge? It's clear, it's cut off, which means this is not really how long, long it is. It's very long. So when they say, oh, we beat them with the miswak, this is the miswak. <laughs> This is a miswak, and this is the same uh, 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 root they used to beat the camel with. Camel, you know, you know how how tough the camel is. They beat their animals with it. The shepherd they use this root because first of all they are in the desert. There's no much uh, uh, options of trees and and wood. This is a root to grow under the ground. They dig in the ground and they take the roots. So when they say to you, we beat them with the miswak, here we go. This is this is Mr. Miswak. Lion, lion has no legs, but in Islam has nose, legs, hands. You know, they try to uh, to uh, to install branches to it. Until now, I did not see any Muslim texting me in Skype saying, "I want to call you." Who is a Muslim and tell us what is the wisdom behind the divine wisdom of God saying beat your wife? Anyone? And by the way, don't take me wrong. In Islamic countries, uh, there is many women, they beat their husbands. Just to let you know. And here it shows that Muhammad, he have no wisdom whatsoever. You can search right now and you will see a huge part of uh, domestic violence in Morocco, Algeria, uh, Egypt, is women beating the husband. Because in most of those Islamic countries, women are so big and men so small. So it works in the opposite way. So look like the Muslim women, they are practicing the opposite. The women, she said to her husband in Islamic country, make tea. He don't make tea. She spank him first time. 
They don't make tea second time. She used miswak. Right? What do you mean do you blame them? Do we have any Abdul? Yeah, Muslim women, they are very harsh. Uh, you know, they are very harsh. You know, they, uh, you see, Islamic society is not what people think. You know, you see, like, we see a woman wearing hijab, and you will think in your mind that this woman inside the house, she is like a sheep. It's the opposite. Inside the house, in Islamic house, the man is the one who do dishes. We know what's happening there. There is a there is a joke about uh, two Muslim guys. They are in the in the park, and one of them he met the other one. Did not see each other for a long time. He said, "Hey, what's up? Uh, tell me what happened. I, I have a wife now. I have three kids. Blah 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 blah." The other guy he said, "I'm married too." Uh, you know, he said so. How is the how is marriage with you? The first one he started complaining. He said, "Man, my wife she is driving me crazy. I don't even dare to do anything without her permission." The other guy he said you should see what I do with my wife he said what he said do you know what if I scream at her and say to her make hot tea or hot water or anything she will do it immediately the other guy he said really you can't do that he said I, yeah I can he said, I don't believe it said, I'm telling you I can he said, I, I don't believe it I need to see it he said okay come with me home so this guy, he went to the, this guy who claimed that if he ordered his wife, she'd do it immediately and she don't even question. He opened the door of the house. He sat in the couch. He said, I have a friend with me, okay? Uh, I want you to make hot water immediately. And the woman, she said, okay, I will do it right away. The other guy, he said, Look, wow, man, how you can do that? The guy I told you, see, I told you, you don't believe me. Anyway, now it's time for you to go because now she is going to do massage with the hot water for my feet. She will wash my feet. The other guy, he said, you're amazing. So he told him to leave and he opened the door for his friend to go. The wife, she heard the door of the house is open. She told the husband, where are you going? The hot water is ready to wash the dishes. Mm. Hot water to wash your feet, huh? Is that right? The hot water is ready for the dishes. Come and wash the dishes. Where are you going, you idiot? Who is going to practice this garbage these days to beat your wife? Anyone? And what kind of a woman you will have after that? I mean, what will happen? She will love you. God knows what she will do to you after you beat her. She hates you, obviously. She will hate you, she will hate you, she will hate you. And she will start thinking maybe about cheating on you. Anyone? Let us continue with the wisdom of Allah men are in charge of women because they had made one Allah had made one of them excel on the other okay how how the man is excel okay let us see how the man excel this is Allah talking Aka Muhammad because they spend of their property to support them uh -huh. so the one who spend on the other, he is excel. And Allah make the men excel by spending from their property in the women. What, what in the case of Muhammad? Muhammad was working for Khadija, and Khadija actually he have no work, she, he never worked. Khadija is an old woman. She got this young man who is poor and nobody wanna marry him. She decided to have him for fun. So Khadija is the one who was spending of her property on Muhammad. Can she spank Muhammad? Based on the logic. Why the woman here, she is beaten based on the logic of Allah because the man, he spent of their property on them. 
So the second somebody he spend his property on you, he have the right to beat you. This is the wisdom of Allah. What do you think, Muslims? Can Khadija spank the Prophet because she was spending on him? This is another side of the wisdom. Would like to talk among Muslim. You would like to talk? Sure, I would like to talk, Mr. Sam Smith. Call me. Who is holding you? You know, just call me, my friend. You are welcome to call me. My Skype is open. You will be happy to hear your voice. Where is the wisdom in that? Anyone? And after you beat your wife, what do you already, what, I mean, what you accomplish after that? Yeah, Abbas, he can call me too. Who is holding him? Any Muslim would like to call for free. Anyone want to share with us the wisdom behind this? After you beat your wife, and now she is being obedient. Is that what Allah want? Making women obedient by beating them? Is that the wisdom? Is that the wise God? Is that what your dad he used to do to your mom? Your mom was obedient because your dad he was beating her in the morning and at night before she sleep? Give us, give us your ID. Uh, we will call you. Just give us your ID, Sam. Post your ID, and we will call you. No problem. What about you? Give us your ID. We will call you. Because you might not find my ID. There is many people trying to copy my name. Any Muslim would like to tell us something? Anyone? <clears throat> Last time I hang up on you because you are a liar. You know, I don't mind to talk to you, but you are, you know, you are a stupid kid. I have to say it. Sorry, Abbas. You say things is not from Islam and you're trying to cover up and you are stupid. You want to remind you what you said to me? You called me yesterday, the, the other day, and you saying to me, Assalamu alaikum. And then I showed you a verse in the Quran. You said the Prophet they spoke about those people because they were arrogant. Arrogant against Islam. Okay, so you are not allowed to say peace to them. But the Christian prince, is he arrogant against Islam or not? So you are a hypocrite, liar, stupid. If you're a prophet told you not to say peace to them, then you say peace to me? All people are arrogant against Islam. They prove they are not Muslims. People are not Muslims. That just means they believe Muhammad is a liar. As simple as that. When you see somebody is an atheist, or somebody is a Christian, or somebody is a Hindu, or somebody is a Buddha, he is saying to you politely, I believe your prophet is a false prophet. So according to Islam, you cannot say peace to me. So why you say peace to me? Because I said to you, uh, I hope you will get well. That means you are stupid. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? You see, I'm giving the Muslims opportunity to prove to us that Muhammad was a smart when he made a verse saying, beat your wife. I'm trying to find some intelligence behind this. What is the intelligence behind this wisdom? If we can call it wisdom, as Muslims they claim that Muhammad he have a divine wisdom.
Any Muslim here? Obviously, this is not a wisdom. This is stupidity. This is savage. And this is garbage teaching. And remember, the Muslim, they say that the Quran fit for all time, not only for the time of Muhammad. What else, Muhammad, he spoke of wisdom, and today I'm focusing in women. Muhammad, he said, not me, that bad luck come in the house from a three, or to the, to the, to the man from a three. The house, the wife, and the female horse. Is that right? Is that the wise prophet teaching us wisdom? An evil omen is only in a three, the horse, the female horse, the women, and the house. Is that a wisdom? And why there are three? I mean, what about four? I thought the Mickey Mouse is bad and the lizard is, is the enemy of Allah too. I mean, there is an endless list. Why only three? Why horse, female horse, and women, and a house? And how how house can bring you omen? What, what is the wisdom behind that? Hmm? Any Muslim? You did not lie when you said to me, peace to me. You know, you did lie. Because you said that the Prophet forbid you from saying peace to those who they are arrogant against Islam. So are you saying to me, I am not arrogant against Islam according to you? It's recorded, everybody, you know. <laughs> you are just a kid. You know what? The only thing I feel sorry for is your wife. I mean, how in the world the women can sit, stay with such a guy? You have a brain of a, of a mosquito. Any Muslim would like to call us? What is the wisdom in that? Hmm? What is the wisdom of saying that if the omen, evil omen, what is evil omen? What is evil omen? How the God who believe in evil omen, he believe that evil omen come from three sources, a female horse, a woman, and a house. How is that? Any Abdul? Don't you think this is like extreme wisdom? I mean, Muhammad, he must be a genius to know such a omen sources. You see, Muhammad did not discover where the oil came from, but he discovered where the evil omen came from. The women, the female horse, and the house. How is that? And Muhammad wisdom goes farther to explain to us his wisdom by saying the following. The Prophet said, O women, folk, you should give charity and be diligent in seeking Allah forgiveness. Because I have seen 
Muhammad he went to the heaven and the top of flying a mule I seen the, the guy he went to the sky now and he saw he saw a lot of stuff let us see what he saw I have seen that the Delawares of the hell are women if 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 Abbas please brother I want to go to heaven now are you serious in the hell there's only women I want to go there brother please Allah take me to hell Allah put me in hell Allah uh, in hell there is only women can I go there I don't want to be in hell with a bunch of dudes like come on we go to hell and we will find a bunch of like a lot millions of beautiful women man finally what is that so you're a prophet his divine wisdom showed him that the most people uh, the, 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 in, in based on this hadith they are the women Which means maybe like 95 percent, 90, 70 percent is women who live in hell. And look how good we are, the men. We are the men. We are the best. Only women deserve to go to hell. Men, we are we are angels. Actually, sometimes I feel like I have wings. Actually, right now I see like one of my feather coming down. And then the prophet, the wise prophet, he decided to tell us why, why the majority of women, they will go to hell. Listen to this. A woman amongst them, this is a outspeaking woman. She's brave. She said, why is that? Why is that the majority of the devil of hell are women? The prophet replied, and listen here carefully. You better listen. This is, this is, the, this is, this is deep. This is deep. very deep why why prophet he said the prophet replied silence please the prophet will talk now you curse frequently and you are ungrateful to your husband uh -huh. the women they curse frequently I can show you Allah he curse Muhammad he curse Muslim men they curse actually all the prayer of the Muslims is cursing so since when cursing will make a bad person bad in Islam when Islam is based on cursing and then he said the prophet now look he's a philosopher you know when you read the prophet words you feel like you are listening to Einstein or like Orstokrat or like Aristo I mean like amazing look at this in spite of your lacking of in wisdom if, 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 like here we are getting really into details in spite of your lacking on wisdom and failing in religion you are the the depriving the wisest of the men of their intelligence if, 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 if. how is that upon that the woman a woman she said what is the deficiency in our wisdom huh in our and our religion what is that he said and look at here the prophet he will spank this woman no would no I mean look how wise he is he replied your lack of wisdom can be well judged from the fact of the evidence that of two women are equal to one man like what the heck so Muhammad in order to prove that women are stupid according to him he used a verse from the Quran saying that a woman she is equal <laughs> two men what one man equal to two women in the witnessing <laughs> oh boy <laughs> oh boy <laughs> this is the proof this is the proof that women are stupid 
that you have a stupid book it's called the Quran saying two women are equal to one man to be witnesses why the Quran says oh hold on we have a bus hey Bibo how are you peace to you my brother my brother how are you I am your brother now in humanity you are I thought you are forbidden to call me brother too you, your brother in humanity, aren't you? No, we are sons of Adam, aren't we? Not? No, 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 no. Islam forbid you. Islam forbid you from calling me, say to me, peace, and to call me brother. You want to challenge that? I am challenging you right now. I'm going to bust you. All right. We Give me a Quran. proof that Islam teaches me don't say peace to non Muslims. <laughs> and I'll give you proof that Islam teaches me okay. to say them peace. How about that? Okay, here we go. And we will go, you said to me, brother too, right? Don't brother in humanity, one. I said. No, 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 you cannot say Ma that to me. You cannot say that to me. Anyway, a brother in humanity. Okay, that's, a, that's a separate argument. Let's talk about the peace. Yeah, first. we will talk about both. I will spank you in both. No, 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 we Here we talk go. About peace this is the hadith. No, 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 no. This is the hadith. You're a prophet saying, if you see a Christian in the street, mm -hmm. don't say to him peace and force him right. to walk in the narrowest which means you have to humiliate him you have to make him walk in the sewage what do you say beautiful beautiful mm. beautiful mm. now i'm going to give you a proof mm. which is superlative form which mm. is higher than hadith mm. have a guess what is that what is that no mickey mouse <laughs> come on you call yourself still a, a scholar of islam inverted mm. commas okay uh, you don't know what is the superlative form of islam what's, what's, uh, what's the scripture more uh, above a hadith don't you even know that uh, what Have i know guess. what i know that the hadith is uh, is the name you give into the quran and to this what we see in the front of us both of them are hadith are you there hadith we know hadith meaning what it's mean? a narration we what know mean? the arabic word hadith well, is it the quran is narration is it the quran is is it the quran is narration is it the quran called itself hadith yes or no let me speak what is yes or no again question question <laughs> answer yes or no let me explain myself <laughs> explain, i haven't explain finished yet. yourself is it the quran a hadith yes you, or no is it the quran is narration you, too hey, are you still terrorist yes or no come on answer me <laughs> be brave <laughs> Don't be stupid. Let me explain myself. Okay, let's go. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Look, when we Muslims talk about hadith, we say we talk about hadith of the Rasul sallallahu mm. alaihi wasallam. Mm. We hadith. Mm. We know the hadith meaning a narration, and mm. the Quran is a hadith because in the Quran there are narrations and stories of the past people. Mm. But in the sense of hadith, when we talk about, we talk about whichever mm. in Bukhari, mm. um, uh, Kutb al Sitta, all these. Not Quran, we did not talk about Quran as hadith in that sense. Hmm. So now you quote me the hadith, Bukhari or Muslim, whatever it is. I'm gonna quote you the Quran. Okay. So which is more uh, super superlative form? So you are saying the, word to me of the Quran is lying? Quran is not lying. So what are you saying? You are in so are you saying the hadith? Are you saying the prophet? So are you saying you the misunderstood the hadith? Okay, are you saying the prophet is lying here? No, 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 I'm not saying that. So, Listen, but, but you this misunderstood a, But this is a correct hadith. Last time is a, but this is an authentic hadith. Last time hadith. I is, is this last hadith, time I is this hadith, you, is, is this hadith is authentic or not? Particular people. Is this hadith what? is authentic or not? Well, it says authentic and I'm not challenging that. Okay, challenging where it that says well. that this is for a specific I'm, people. Where it says that this is for a specific people. No, no. No, no, that's why I said hmm. you need to go to Sayyak Sabak of the Hadith. Hmm. If you see the whole context of Islam, hmm. when Islam tells you you can marry Jew uh, woman hmm. and Christian woman, when Islam tells you, I'm going to show you in the Quran, which Quran is telling you. Okay, show me, show me, give show me in the Quran. Let's go to the Quran. Show me in the Quran so we can love. Open chapter 25. Chapter 25, okay. Verse 63. All right. Here we go. And read it for us. Read it. You read for us. Go ahead. No, go on. Um, well, you read the whatever to answer because I, I'm not on watching your screen. I'm you said the 2563? 2563, Al-Furqan. Okay. Read the words. It says nothing. What? No, you must say something. Come on, don't be li don't lie, man. Don't lie on, on air. Well, it says, uh, say it says nothing about our it's topic. Like, it says, if the ignorant, if the ignorant the speak to them, this. if the ignorant speak it's to not, them, they say, uh, 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 peace and they, they leave right 
Thank you very much. Okay, it's not like biblical verses hmm. when it says number, but there's no verse. Hmm. It's, the, it's, the, it's the missing verses. Okay, what it's does this mean? Like what, what does this mean? So what does it say? What, what it says? What it says it? that the Muslims they cannot what debate the Christians, and if they see them, they say we are leaving. That's all. No, when they say when they come foolish, <laughs> foolish okay, equal to foolish equal to. Listen, 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 listen. Are listen. you foolish or not? Listen, listen. If, if the, if the if, uh, first of all, it doesn't say foolish. This is, is stupid translation. It says a jahiluna, correct? You know what a jahiluna? Oh, that's even worse. What is a jahiluna? That's even worse. Doesn't say foolish, you idiot. What do you say? You are foolish to say this ignorant. is a foolish. The word here is a jahilun. What jahilun mean? Jahilun mean ignorant. Thank the you. Arrogant, the ignorant. Thank you. So if the ignorant spoke to you, say to them, peace, right? No, ignorant in the sense they are disbelievers. A okay, Muslim thank you. That's what I'm saying. So say to them peace. In which meaning? In which meaning? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, say, say to them. Person. Say to them. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do here they mean peace? You say peace when you come, not when you are leaving. Here they are running away. Correct. Astaghfirullah. He says when you when you leave and. Thank you. Right. So when you are leaving, like, this like, is when you are leaving because like, the Muslims like, they have no answer. So, so what your prophet saying? If they if they came to you to debate you, just leave. Do you want me to read the interpretation? Do you like me to read the interpretation? Do you like me to read the interpretation? Can we do that? Who who are they? Can we can we read the interpretation? Oh, are they Muslim or non-Muslim? Answer yes. Who is the Muslims? Who are the Muslims? Who what Muslims? No, no, no. The one is they sending peace to. My are friend, they sending peace to here you can. Muslim? Okay, okay. First of all, first of all, your prophet is a person who uh, Muslim. They say to us that he taught things in stages. This is before the Muslims are powerful. When Muhammad he is not powerful, he cannot humiliate those who they are not believing with him. Correct. But when he is powerful, he says, "Go and fight the Christians and kill them and force them to pay jizya." Is that ah, correct? I see. Look, Dr. Zakinak have something to say. Can Dr. Zakinak say something? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a true or not? Is that a true that you cannot say peace to the Christians anymore? Yes or not? Brother Dieter, I see peace busted. Thank you very much. You are the I'm one get that. busted. Listen, listen. Your prophet here, he said, don't be. Don't say peace to the yeah. Christians. He, this is here when he was a very, you know, weak person. Uh, Everybody spank him, and he don't dare to do anything. So he said, "Okay, you cannot debate them. Leave." Do you like us to read the interpretation of the verse so everybody will laugh at you? Why you yeah, don't want? Go ahead. What? Okay, here we go. Chapter twenty-five, verse number sixty-three. And now Abbas, yeah. he will say, "I don't agree with this guy." Just wait. What? Okay. Okay. Yeah, go on. Okay, don't make that such a big thing about it. Just read it, man. Okay. Here we go. I put it in you the screen and you read for us. You you, I put it in the screen and you read it for us. So everybody will laugh. Shall we? Here we go. Oh, can you not say that? Uh, let's, uh, let's die laughing. Okay. Can go ahead, read. I'm listening. I'm not watching screen, man. What do you I'm mean? I'm driving as usual. You are driving as usual, okay. But tonight I'm driving. I'm going back home. So. Yeah. So. So what? I can't read. I'm not reading. Uh, if people they come me. to you, those who don't agree with you in Islam, you say to them peace, and you run away like you. So those here, when, when Muhammad is not in war with them, he cannot answer them. He cannot fight them. He cannot kill them. So he says, go and say to them peace. But Muhammad, he confirmed that when you see specifically. The Christians and the Jews in the road, you have to spit in their face. Did he say that or not? Uh, hang on a minute. What happened to the interpretation? Uh, we all, we it's in the front of us. us. It's in the That's front of us. Need. Nowhere here it, say, it says that you mean to it. say peace. You are leaving. You say we say peace when we come to you. Which interpretation not when you we are leaving? Any interpretation you want. Uh, now you're breaking up. Hmm. You break your brother, your brother, my, my brother, my brother, you break, breaking up. I am not your brother. Let me let me get your busted from the Quran. Here we go. Well, in my, me, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just call me. I am your brother. Isn't it the Quran? Yes. Chapter 9, verse 23 yes. says, You cannot even yes. be a brother for someone he is your brother. Yes or no? Hey? 
you what cannot be that? a brother for someone he is your brother yes or no 923 923 yes or no if someone he is your real brother, if someone he is your real brother, if someone he is your real brother, not me, like me, I'm not your real brother. You said in humanity, right? If someone he is your real from your blood and even your father, you cannot yes. be friend to them, yes or no? Yes, Olia, Olia. Okay, thank you. So you cannot be friend. No, no, no. You cannot be friend. Okay, hold on. So you cannot be friend. You cannot be friend to who? To your father and your brother, correct? Can I answer, please? Yes or no? Yes or no? So how? If you cannot call your brother a brother, how you can call a Christian prince a brother? Yes or no? I don't like this question here. What? Yes or no? What is yes or no? You're wrong. You're About what? I just got you busted. This is your prophet. Isn't it you Muslim? You say there's a verse in the Quran that says me. you can drink wine. There's a verse in the Quran that says you can drink wine. Yes or no? I'm yeah. telling you. He says do there's, a verse, there's a verse in the Quran that says you can drink uh, wine and wine is a miracle of Allah. Yes or no? Please. Yes or no? The Quran says yes or no? I didn't hear you. Uh, you bring I'm up. saying you repeat that. there's a verse in the Quran says you can drink wine. Yes or no? And now we're talking about the brother, brother and father can be the brother or father or not. Okay, I'm That's just, I'm just, I'm just getting you busted. You Muhammad is a, Muhammad no, is know. a liar. He changed rules. They bent in his situation. When he is weak, he's a potato. When he is a strong, he want to kill everybody. So here he cannot refute them. He cannot debate them. He says to his friends, okay, when they say, say bye-bye. This is what we meant by salam. Salam here does not mean peace with them. It means bye-bye. We are leaving. Yes or no? You remind of a person, you know, when you go. Now listen. Listen, here we go. Can you be? Can be? Can you be? Can you be? Can Okay, you said to me, awliya. What awliya mean? You cannot take your father and your brother as awliya. What awliya mean? Awliya mean protector. Protector. You can't take them as Okay, protector does mean they are more than a friend, correct? Because they are your father and they are your brother. No, so they are no, from your blood. No, no, no. Listen to this, listen to this, guys. They are your father from, re this is real father, the one who slept with your mother. And this is your brother who is born of your mother and your father, yet you cannot take them as a protectors. Why? Give us the answer. Yeah, if you, if you give, if you be patient, let me, let me speak. Go ahead. Let me speak. Go ahead. Let me explain myself. Mm. Okay, he says, look, protect. I, I can have a friend. Mm. But I don't, I don't think that person I will take as a protector. It, I can still be my friend, mm. but I don't take that person as a protector mm. uh, to trust that he can protect me in the sense I need to be uh, uh, protected. Mm. So in this sense, uh, the verse is talking about mm. these fathers and brothers who left Islam, who are not Muslim, mm. they're enemies of Islam. Don't take them Aulia, instead of a Muslims. So hmm. your better option is take a Muslim who's uh, as a protector. Okay. It never says can you can't you, take can you it okay. say this, can you can, can you associate can you associate them. with them? Can you can you visit them and be nice to them? Of course you can be nice to them even with the non-Muslims Christians you can be nice with them. It's chapter 60 verse 8 and 9 clearly tells okay. you read, read what kind me. of people you can be friend with. Okay. It's only three kind of people you all can be right, friend with. All right, all right. Chapter 60 Read for me, read for me. Every, everybody will laugh at you. Everybody will laugh at you in a or second. They throw you out of your houses, okay. Or those who help people to throw you out of okay. your houses. Okay, Abdul, read for me chapter 58, verse 22. Go ahead. Chapter 50? Mm. Sorry? Chapter 58, verse number 22. 58, verse 22. Can you read it for me, please? No, I cannot. I trust you. I trust you, brother. I am not your brother. Stop lying. According to Islam, you, I'm not your brother. You are, brother. I'm, you are. I'm sorry. You can sue me. <laughs> okay. The verse in the front of me saying that real Muslims will never take and they will never be kind and they will never have relation with those who oppose Allah. Why you are lying to us? Come on then. Read it. Make a tea. Don't shy. Go it says, okay. Thou wilt not find folk who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who oppose Allah and his messenger Even though they are be their father or their sons or their brothers or their clan You got busted and you are spanked No, I'm not 
What do you mean? Look at front of us. It says you cannot be nice to those who they are opposing Allah, even if they are your brother, your father, your sons. You cannot love them. You told me a second ago, yes, I can. Uh, read the interpretation. Go on now. Don't shy. Any I did. Negative. I did read it. On, I, did, I, just did, I just did read it. <laughs> no, you didn't read it, Nakatir. You read the verse. I'm reading the verse, yes. No, read the tafsir, man. Okay, hold on, guys. If you want Ibn Kathir, Kathir, okay, hold on. How come when we gave you gave me the first verse, you don't want the you, you don't want Ibn Kathir? I never said that. I said, go on, read the okay. tafsir. I did say that to you. <laughs> Chapter twenty-five. I did. I said, read it, read the tafsir. You said, can we read the interpretation? Uh, uh, I, why are you laughing like Homer Simpson? Stop doing okay, that. Okay, Abdul, Abdul, we will go to Ibn Kathir. I hope you will not say yes. I will not accept Ibn Kathir no more. I never said that. All right, let us see. In a second, I we will see. I, I all right, say, all right, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. We will go. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. In two seconds, you will say, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. How many times you told me I don't accept Ibn Kathir? Uh, many times. We talk about should we accept or not? Many times. Ta many times you said to me, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. And now you will do it again. And remember, you are the one who asked for it, not me. Here we go. In two seconds. In two seconds, people will see that you will regret and you will say, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. Do you promise me you will accept Ibn Kathir, whatever he say about this verse? Let's read it, Ibn Kathir. No, do you promise me before we read it? Do you promise me before we read it, you will accept whatever Ibn Kathir he says, please? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop the car and I'm going to read the verse. Do you accept what Ibn Kathir will say about this verse? Yes or no? You are the one who asked me. Remember, everybody is my witness. Do you accept what Ibn Kathir says about this verse? Do you know when you read uh, uh, the Do you know you that you, you are condition. scared to say yes? You aren't you the one who just said to me? Aren't you the one who just said to me? Listen, uh, 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 listen, uh, boo -boo. listen, aren't you the one who said to me, read Ibn Kathir? I say read in the interpretation. Okay, read this is the interpretation. So I'm saying to you, do you accept Ibn Kathir? Do you know me how what my position of the first year is? So I, why I you are asking me to read the Mika the then? Why you are asking me to read the Mika If you don't accept the Mika why you are asking me to read the Mika Here we go, Ibn Kathir, you agree with me. You got busted. It's in the front of you on the screen. Read it. Read it. Chapter 50, what verse? Chapter 58. You don't know what verse we are talking Can about. Abdul, listen. Chapter 58, verse number 22. And this is Ibn Kathir, and he agree with me. You cannot be friend. You cannot be friend. You cannot be nice. You cannot be. You cannot love. You said to me that awliya does not mean a friend, right? You are a liar and you are a hypocrite. And here we go. This is Ibn Kathir saying, "You will not find a true believer," which means you are really Abbas, are not a true believer, because you said to me, "You mean to say peace to me, and you mean to be nice to me." You said that. But the, the verse saying, you will not find a true believer who believe in Allah and the last day, making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. So apologize for being a liar. And then I'm so happy for you that you left Islam. Because the verse confirmed that Abbas is not a Muslim. I left Islam. Okay. Okay. Can I can I say something here now then? What do you say? This is your judge. You say to me, read Ibn Kathir. To... Uh, two things. Uh, first thing you said, Aulia only means uh, a friend. You said to me, listen, you said to me, you 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 can take non-Muslims as a friend. This is what you said, yes or no? You said I lie when I say Aulia you, means... You, you lie, you yes. You lie. said you can take me as a friend, yes or no? No, no, no talk about the word Aulia. You say Aulia does not mean protector. I guess, are you saying that on the... I say the Aulia friendship. You said no, it says Aulia mean only protector. Aulia mean friendship and protectors and more actually. That means you have a very good relationship with them. So listen, Thank listen. You so so you did lie. You so did Aulia lie. Okay, so, so listen, listen. Listen, don't change the topic. You said you can be good okay, and you can be loving right. and you can be nice and you can have good relationship with those who they are not Muslims. You just said that two minutes ago. And the verse here proving that you are a scam or you are an ignorant. And I believe you are an ignorant. Do you choose the other one? I'm not. Because chapter 6. Okay, here we go. Eight and nine this is, is Ibn Kathir. Okay, read Ibn Kathir for me. It's in the front of you. Abdul, read Ibn Kathir for us. Read Ibn Kathir for us. It's in the screen. You stop your car. You can read it now. Go ahead. 
no problem. I read Ibn Kathir. Hmm. One second. Hmm. One second. Chapter 58, verse 22. Hmm. Just bear with me. Hmm. I parked the car. You know why? Yeah, you know why. I know why. Because you are shaking. I want, I, I want to bust you twice in the night. Mm, I bust you once already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Swell <laughs> Mujadala. Worst. What Ibn Kathir says. Hmm. You see, I'm giving you a chance, isn't it? Stop talking and start reading. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I got contagious by you, you know. I like to talk. <laughs> okay, stop stop talking and go ahead. You never stop. read. Okay, read. Let's yeah, start. Don't, after, don't waste our time. After all, we are, we are brothers, man. For me, okay, I have no problem to be a brother to anyone. You see, this is not my belief, but I'm saying to you that you are lying to me when you say that uh, peace and etc. This is a, this is just hypocrisy. No, it's not. Okay, we'll read the book here. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm reading um, mm. verse 22. Um, mm. <coughs> it ends with... Uh, it ends with... Uh, Ashir al -tahum. Okay. Yeah, you can laugh in Arabic. Like I laugh at your breath net. You're in English. <coughs> okay. You haven't said breath net for a long time. What, mm. what's, what, what's going on? Go, go. Okay. You will not find any people hmm. who believe in Allah and the last day is just reading, is just beating the verse. Meaning, do not befriend uh, the deniers, even if they are among the closest relatives. Hmm. Allah said, "Let not the believers take the disbelievers' friends instead." Of, that's three twenty-eight instead of the. Okay, this verse three twenty-eight is not the same thing. It's instead of the believers. Abdul, continue so, reading. The first chapter. No, he's quoting the chapter three verse. 20. No, he's not quoting. And he's not quoting. He's not quoting. He is reading the same verse. It's in the front of us. The same verse says, "Don't take. You will not find between those who believe in Allah and the last day, making a friendship with those who oppose Allah, even if they are." This is not trans. This is not interpretation yet. This is the verse, you idiot. This is not the interpretation yet. This no, is the, the full, verse. Full, uh, full verse. Full, uh, full of seed has three twenty eight as well. He's quoting. <laughs> I, but this is well. later. But this is the verse. The verse itself saying you cannot be friend to your father and your son and your brother. And a second ago, I asked you, can you be friends to your father and your your brother? You said yes. But I cannot take them as a protectors. This is what you said to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the but here it says, but here it says, no, here it says that Abbas is a liar because it says you cannot make them as a friendship that your father, your brother, even your sons, even your clan, everybody who's left because those are tribe, the okay. living tribe, which means the whole city is a clan. So even your clan, okay. any one of them, you cannot be friend to them. No. CP, the position I'm coming to you, I have to clarify. Don't tell me position. position. This is the verse. We are not reading. We are not reading interpretation yet. This is the verse. Even even their clan, you cannot be friend to them. I I I know what you said. I heard you. You keep repeating yourself. <laughs> now my position is this: when your I position? read the Quran, what your position? Quran, Aren't you the one who said to me read Ibn Kathir? Okay, continue reading Ibn Kathir. Your position. This is Ibn Kathir. No, no, I have to clarify why I said that, what Ibn Kathir is saying that. Read Ibn, Ibn Kathir. Kathir. No, you said to me, you yeah. accept Ibn Kathir, you asked me to read Ibn Kathir. Whatever Ibn Kathir he says, I will accept it, me too. It's, it's your choice. I will go to Ibn Kathir to be a judge between me and you. Read it. Don't put words in my mouth. Don't put words Aren't in my mouth. Aren't you the one who said to me, read Ibn Kathir? Aren't you the one who said to me, read Ibn Kathir? Aren't you the one, aren't you the one who said to me, aren't you the one who said to me, read Ibn Kathir? Now, yeah, yeah, we read it. We read it. I understand it. Okay, so you did lie. Apologize for lying. Ibn Kathir is saying that. Listen, 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 Abbas, do you see why I hang up on you? Because you are a kid. You do not know your religion. You do not know your religion. You are a kid. You say things you don't mean. And then you get busted each time you call me is the same drama you end with doing pp pp in your in your diaper here we go you are the one who you are the one who said that yes i can take them as a friend yes i can be nice to them yes i can have relationship with them everybody heard you it's recorded and then we see no, what? Oh, no. it's Why recorded it's recorded and you said to me awliya does not mean a friend it means a protectors you cannot take them as a protectors only 
And here we see the verse confirming clearly that you cannot take them as a friend. And because you cannot take them as a friend anyway, you cannot take them as protectors. That means they are your enemy. That's it. The one who is not your friend is your enemy. That's what the verse is saying. So anyone who takes them as a friend, he is not a Muslim. That's what the verse is saying. CP, you're talking over me. That doesn't mean you have to win. I'm not talking over you. You are the one said to me, read Ibn Kathir. Everybody is laughing at you. Every time I listen, listen. When you said to me, when you said to me, read Ibn Kathir. When you said to me, when you said to me, Abbas, when you said to me, read Ibn Kathir, are you aware of Ibn Kathir, what he will say, or you're just being stupid and you said, like you throw it in the air? So the person who never read Ibn Kathir. No answer. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. When you said to me, read Ibn Kathir. Is that is that something you throw I, in the I, air, or you are aware of no, Ibn Kathir? No, will say? no, 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 no. I just give you open. Just, just go and read Ibn Kathir. I just, I didn't know this okay. was Ibn Kathir. So, what he's saying okay, so now do you agree with Ibn Kathir or that, you don't? Okay, do you that, agree with? No, Ibn, do you agree? Let, let, us, let us let us let us let us make a choice. So do you agree with Ibn Kathir or do you agree with Ibn Kathir or you don't? No, I don't agree with. Okay, which which scholar you agree with? So I will accept any scholar you, you you accept. What do you say? The first one, so you, the first one, I'm your choice. The mind. first one, I'm your choice. It was a failure. Which work? one you want? A Jalalain? Do you want a Jalalain? Okay. Do you want Al Qurtubi? Do you want a Tabari? Name one. All of them, they will get I'm you busted. Okay, I will answer you that after I'll say what I want to say. No, Abdul, no, question. Abdul, listen, listen. Abdul. Let me show you how many interpretation we have in Arabic. We have hundreds. I challenge what you to choose, you uh, Abdul, I what challenge you, you I challenge you to choose one of them, any one of them, and all of them, they will get you busted. Do you know why? Because you are a potato liar. Choose one. CB, what are you afraid of? You are the one who's afraid. You see, I'm giving you all the Islamic books. Choose one. No, agree with you. Just to choose one. What you know? You are a potato. You, you are a potato. Choose one. Choose one. Look how many you books. Look, look. I have hundreds. All of this stuff's here. Those are scholars, supposedly. Choose one. Agree with you. Just one. One Muslim in the world agree with Abbas, the one who drive his car, always delivering pizza, and he became a scholar in Islam, and he go to speaker corner to be humiliated. Give me one. He agree with you. Just one. You're giving me so many interpretations. Thank you very much. But you're not giving me a chance to speak. How about that? <laughs> I do not need to give you more, more chance. You are the one who said to me, Ibn Kathir, and this is Ibn Kathir, and you are an idiot. And the verse is so clear. I mean, how clear we can be. You see, I, I didn't show all my papers to the Muslims because you have to play them. So sadly, they, tr they try to deceive you. They do their best, the deception game. But that you cannot do with me. You cannot do that with me. The verse you showed me is about running away from people like me. At that time, the Muslims are not strong. They cannot force their opinion by the sword as usual. So, okay, if the if the ignorant, they, they you know uh, 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 they uh, argue with you and they, they want to debate you, say bye bye. I'm leaving. There's nowhere. Nobody is saying peace. Muhammad he says, whatever you find them, kill them. I've been ordered to kill all mankind unless they say shahada. And when Muhammad he says, when you say the Christians and the Jews in the streets force them to the most narrow alley, this is in total agreement with chapter 9, verse 29, where it says, kill the Christians wherever you find them unless they pay you money. Because Muhammad is a gang leader. People in the chat, did you take a note of the verse we gave you? Who remember what verse it was? Do you remember the verse? I hope so. So later, if a Muslim he tried to play games with you, get him. Give him what he deserve. Okay, we have another Muslim. He would like to talk to us. I don't know this guy. He I don't know. I don't think he even is a Muslim, but he claimed to be a Muslim. Let us see. I have a feeling that he is one of the hippies. Let us call him. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you.
Are you going to answer or not? So you were crazy, you want to talk to me, you want to call me, we are calling you. Answer. Oh boy. This is the guy, I want to talk to you. He was flooding the text and now we call him, he's not going to answer. To Nazir Abu Umar al-Bahith, or Munzi al-Saqqar, or Zain. Uh, for thinking, my friend, why you don't why you don't ask them? You go ask them the question. I'm always here. My Skype is open. All those names you mentioned to me in Arabic, they can call me. Any of them, who care? Don't tell me their names. I don't care. All of them, they are small. All of them, they know nothing. All of them, they are fake. All of them, they are scars. And the proof, they are not calling me. So don't tell me, can you debate this guy? Can you debate that guy? Let them call me. Any Muhammadan? I will give this guy, uh, uh, the one who called himself Sam, to call me. Otherwise, I'm going to block you. I will give you five minutes to call me. Why I don't let him speak his sentence? It's very stupid of me to let him speak more sentence because already he gave us his opinion and he said that the verse... He, he said that in Islam you can be a friend and you can uh, awliya does not mean a friend He can be friend to me. He can be friend to his parents He can be friend to his brother and he can have a good relationship with them And then he chose Ibn Kathir. So what what more talk Ibn Kathir is saying that he is a liar So what more sentence you need? Is that just to talk is that because you like to hear farting? He is the one who chose that, okay, go and open an Islamic scholar interpretation, not a Christian scholar. We open for him the Islamic choice of interpretation. And the Islamic choice of interpretation proved that he is a liar. So what do you mean, let him talk more? He got himself busted as usual. Ultimate, uh, this is ultimate says it's okay. Uh, ultimate, why you are not answering, Mr. Ultimate Truth? Uh, I, I miss his uh, screaming. I think he's, he's trying to go live on uh, Facebook to make himself uh, look uh, like a hero in front of the Muslims. Let's call him again. I can't wait to hear the ultimate. <laughs> he's rejected. He's, you know, he declined my call. What's wrong? He declined my call. Look like mama did not approve it. I don't know. Okay, mama did not approve it. What I can do? Why you lie to us? Hmm? So everything they say, when they say salam, they don't mean it. They are not allowed to say peace to you. They are not allowed to take you as a friend. They are not allowed to be good to you. There's a verse where Muhammad, the mother of uh, of uh, of, uh, uh, of Aisha, she came to visit her, and she want to give Muhammad a gift, but she is she don't believe in Muhammad. In this case, because she has given a gift, Muhammad he says it's okay. You can be good to them. Uh, taking a gift, imagine how good to them, not giving them gift because she is bringing a gift but Muhammad made it so clear that a true believer a true Muslim he cannot friend non-Muslims even if they are his own family and this is repeated in many places in the Quran as a chapter 923 and chapter 58 verse 22 and they lie to us and actually if you go in chapter 28 the 328 you will see how Islam teaching officially to be a hypocrite liar 
and the funny the same verse call us hypocrite you believe it the same verse which is teaching Muslims to lie to us call us hypocrites read carefully and you tell me if this is an Islamic religion believing God through God or this is a satanic cult read it let not the believers take the, be the, uh, the uh, believers out to take the hypocrites we are the hypocrites see the Muslim cannot take us we are the hypocrites supposedly and then he says the Jews or the Christian or etc for their friends as so became mighty and honorable in reference to the believers who are sincere so the one who take me as a friend and he is sincere let us say Abbas was sincere to say to me you are my brother or he is sincere to be my friend if you do that according to the Quran look at this it says seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friend he has no connection with Allah he has no honor mercy or protection from Allah which means you can even kill him He's apostate because he took non-muslims as a friend but unless unless what look at this unless you guard yourself against them save yourself from them by taking it as way or security saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this this is an official satanic religion teaching you to lie to others and to hate them in your heart but to love them with your tongue am i saying that no it's in the front of you and who is the one giving the interpretation this is the cousin of the prophet himself the one and the only one muhammad he prayed to allah to make him the scholar of islam so by his mouth he will say to you peace to you yeah we are friends sure i love uh, 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 christians sure i love uh, hindus sure, but in reality in his heart should be this like this otherwise if he is sincere he is considered apostate and this is exactly what the other verse here in chapter 58 verse number 22 saying that those who take even their own family member imagine if he's his family member they cannot take them as a friend how he can be your friend So you are trying your best to fool us, but the proofs in the front of us and nothing is coming from the pocket of Christian Prince. You did lie to us. You did. For me as a Christian, I love the Muslims. I don't hate them and I will never hate them. Why? Because Jesus says, love your enemy. They, could, they believe that I'm an enemy. I'm not an enemy to anyone. But this is what they believe. And this is what the Quran teaching them. You cannot take them as a friend. Anyone who oppose Allah and the Prophet and this liar was calling me saying to you, me peace, and he claimed that I am his brother. When even your brother from your blood should not be called a brother in Islam. The only brother in Islam is a Muslim. <clears throat> Hello? hi yes my friend you are live on air okay um i couldn't connect before this is my first time calling can you speak louder so, please, a little bit uh can you hear me now yeah i do hear you go ahead what do you want to say to us okay so uh this is my first time on this website okay and my friend recommended me to watch your videos uh so i just wanted to know um i've watched few of your older videos not the live ones um and it looks like you really hate Islam or Muslims. I just wanted to know to begin with, hmm. why is that? What have first of all? I just uh, said, I just said, I just said, I just said, are you going to let me talk? First of all, I just yeah. said a second ago, I love Muslims, I hate okay. lies, I hate lies, I don't hate people. So I love Muslims, okay. and actually, this is why because we love Muslims, I am here to teach them to show them that Muhammad is a liar. Do you have a problem okay. with that? No, I don't have any problem with okay. that. I'm open. Now, to what do you want to say view. to me? So you are Sorry? wrong about the first one. The one who teach hate is Islam. 
let me ask you, did Allah in the Quran or in anywhere or Islam says no, no, no. that, uh, that, one that, one that you didn't answer my question? Yeah. Why do you believe in Islam? Why what? You're saying liars. Why do you hate Islam or Muslims? Not everybody is a liar. Uh, first of all, I just answer you about Muslims. I said I don't hate Muslims. Do you hate Muslims yourself? No, I don't hate Muslims. Are you a Muslim yourself? Are you a Muslim yes, yourself? I am. Okay. Do you hate Christians? Am, Alhamdulillah. Do you hate Christians? No, I don't. Do you have a Christian friends? Yeah, lots. And okay. I talk to them regularly. Okay. It's According to Islam, my friend, Bible you are not a Muslim. According to Islam, you are not a Muslim. Read for me. Chapter 5, verse number 51, it says that Muslims cannot take a Christians or Jews as a friends. Yes or no? Uh, yes. Okay. So you, but you just said to me, you have um, Christian friends, but the Quran says you as a Muslim, you can't take me as a friend. That's mean you are a good person. And you are mm -hmm. really a wonderful person who is leaving Islam. Why you left Islam? Um, I haven't left Islam. But you did. But you just did. You said to me, you have a Christian friends. The Quran said, yes. you, yes. the Quran says, yes. take not Christians and Jews as a friends. But you say, you just said, okay. you are a person who have a Christian friends. And now, that's mm -hmm. mean you are not a Muslim. Okay. Uh, let. Can I talk? Sure. Um, listen, go ahead. So if I, uh, my religion also <laughs> Okay. I don't so hear you. I don't how hear do you. I your, give your mic, your mic to uh, non-Muslims if I am not friendly to them? Like, uh, just give me another way. That's the only way I knew. Oh, so you are saying to me? So, so you are saying to me to invite people to Islam? You lie to them. You say to them, "I am your friend," but you don't mean it. Uh, not really. I meant it. But the Quran says you cannot take them as a friend. No, the Quran says take them as friends, teach them what you know. Wait, wait, it says that. Here we go. I'm showing you Quran, chapter 5, verse 51. Read for us. Go ahead. Okay. Um, you read it. I, I'm not good in English, you know. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Read it. Read it loud so we can hear you. <clears throat> What happened to you? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm okay, why you are silent, my friend? We're here. The wisdom my of first Allah. language is not English. So give me some. Time. Oh, your first language is not English. What you are speaking English yeah. fluently with me. So no problem. Read it, my friend. <laughs> why you are so quiet? Are you shocked? No, no, I'm reading it. So read it. Go ahead. People are. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. We, we, trying to we are live on air. We cannot. We so cannot go. We cannot go mute. We cannot go mute. One people might listen to you. Not just you call me. One. You call me because you have something to say. I'm giving you opportunity, my friend. Go ahead. Read it for us. But I want to read it in context. So I'm. Read it on context. No problem. Reading. Read ten verses before I, it and ten verses after it. But still, it says you cannot take a Christian and Jews as a friends. Yes or no? This verse says I can't. Mm -hmm. So, can you take Christians as a friend? Yes or no? Uh, give me a moment. I'll mm -hmm. just pull up another reference where it says yes. Do you want to call a friend? No, no. I'm Googling. Uh, Google is your friend. Okay, no problem. Who's your friend? Jesus is my friend and he's my Lord. Uh, I didn't see that name in the original book. Which book? The original Old Testament and the New Testament. Can you show me the word Jesus in the original Quran? I cannot show you. Okay, why why Allah did not quote the correct name of Jesus? Allah did. No, he Quran. called him Isa. His name is not Isa. His name is Yeshua. Yeshua in which language? In the Hebrew. And you're saying your friend is Jesus yeah, um, because in English they could they use that because in, in the Greek they don't have equal letters the same as in English now like we say oh, Muhammad. So, so how can we ha then why can't we have Isha in Arabic if you're saying that Isa is alphabet. not the same as Yeshua so you change story different English. name why uh, can't we, Isa, we never heard of that guy's name is Isa what Isa mean can you tell me who's Isa and what Isa mean um, I don't want to go into that conversation. Okay, let's not to change the topic. Let's no, let's say, let's no, no, let's no, you just one. said that Jesus. Let is us an finish this one. Let, uh, Abdul, 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 don't change, don't change the topic. Alphabet. Don't change the topic. You, you are in trouble. You are trying to get, are trying to get away. Alphabet. You are get, trying so you are to get away from the stupid thing you said to me. That's the whole story. So don't change the topic. 
You cannot take I'm a Christian and choose a different the topic. You are okay. going to somewhere else. Okay, I'm just asking you answer. if Jesus can be taken in English. We don't care about the name, by the way. Oh, first of all, first of all, first, first of all, first of all, the name is not what we worship. It is who is the person. You almost name as you follow a but name, you, you, you don't you follow don't a person. person now don't change you the topic. We will name. go we will go I to that after you finish this one. You see you are a blah 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 blah. blah. So answer why why, why the why you lie to me, you say is you have a Christians, they are friends. I'm waiting for you. Your friends are helping you, they cannot help you. Nobody can help you, trust me. They can join us. Uh, they, you can ask them to join us on Skype if you want. What is that? I have a picture. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I don't hear you. Your voice is gone. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me now? Okay. Speak louder, please. Your mic. Don't move your mic, please. Okay. Okay. So, uh, wh why Allah says take not Christian and Jews as a friends, but you said you can take them as a friend and you have a friend. One of you is lying, either Allah or you. Hello? Uh, I'm just reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, Uh, can you go to chapter 60, verse 8 to 10? Oh, can you answer about this verse first before we go to another verse? Yeah, well, your initial question was, why do I take Christians as friends? Mm. So you showed me this verse where you're saying, I shouldn't take them as friends. Mm. And I'm going to show you a verse where God says that we can take our enemies as our friends. No, it doesn't say that. You are lying again. Read the verse for us. Chapter what, you say? 60. 60? Yeah. 60 or 16? 60, 6, 60. Zero. Okay. And what verse? To be Just to be sure. I know exactly what you are talking about, but I want to be sure this is what you are talking about. So I show it on the screen. What verse? Um, verse 8. Verse 8. Read for us. Can you go it on the screen? All right. Read it. Hello? Yes. Okay, and? Uh, you can read it. Well, this verse. I read this, this verse. verse so you can friend, read the verse I pointed out. My friend, this verse about the mother of Aisha, she is coming to give her a gift. That's all. And Muhammad says, no problem to take a gift from her. So how you are being good to them? <laughs> this is have nothing to do with what we are talking about. And what kind of kindness by accepting money from others? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so what happened now? The Quran is still saying, you cannot be my friend. Yes or no? Verse 9. Mm. Uh, okay, so verse 9 mm. says, Allah only forbids you from those who fight you because of religion, which you are doing, mm. uh, and expel you from your homes and aid in your expulsion, mm. that you make allies with them. Mm. And whoever makes allies of them, then mm. is those who mm. are the wrongdoers. Okay, but have you ever so heard of something? If, if, have if, you, if have my you ever heard? Friend is not okay. fighting have you, you ever heard? Uh, okay, have I you, can ever, take have you friend, right? ever heard of something called abrogation in Islam? Yes or no? Sorry? Have you ever heard of something is called abrogation? Verses are uh, abrogated? Yes. Okay, is this verse abrogated or no? Why would it be? I, I can read it in well, the, the Quran, Quran. Because Muhammad he says, Why? You have a very bad microphone, my friend. Fix your microphone. I had to mute you. Oh, boy. Fix your microphone. 
heaven also says part hai okay listen Allah listen will put between you and those Okay, listen, 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 listen. Let us cut the garbage. So, let us go. So, let us let us Allah, cut the garbage. Let us cut the garbage. Let us cut me and my let us cut so the, I can't I let us cut let friend. us cut the garbage. Which is scholar you agree with him to interpret it first? Sorry, what did you which call is scholar? Garbage? Which is scholar you agree no, what with did him? You call garbage? I say and cut the garbage because you are going to read for me blah 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 but you will not give me No 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 I don't want to that's why okay. I asked you to So I'm first, saying right? to you and what interpretation like, you, you read something what interpretation else. what that's interpretation you like me to show you about this verse I don't, I don't want to fight What people, interpretation right? you like me to show you about this verse interpretation made by Muslims Yes or no So how how do you propose Muslims to uh teach other people or approach them Oh, so you are saying to me that yeah. you can you want to teach the non-muslims in order to take them as a no, no, not teach not teach talk okay. to them i just want to talk to them okay nothing my, about my friend about learn, learning let us, about let us take, let us take one about here we go this is the verse listen this is the verse this is the verse you gave me and the verse you mm -hmm. gave me have nothing to do with being good to others simply this is about Aisha, she want to receive a gift from her mother. What are you talking about? Are you in 60-60? Here we go. Read the interpretation. 60-60. 60, 60, number seven. 60, verse number 8. Chapter 60, okay. verse number 8. Here we go. It says that Asma been to Abi Bakr and took her gift, a desert lizard. I, I, I don't so Muhammad made this verse word. because she has given her a gift. Have nothing okay. to do with being a friend. This is her sister. Which, Listen, which this is her sister, and this this is the same chapter you gave me. Yeah, chapter sixty. Stop stop asking me which chapter. Chapter sixty, verse number eight, the verse you gave me. And this is about yeah. nothing about being good to others. This is about a woman. She is the sister of Aisha and her mother. They want no, to give Aisha. Ever, they want to give Aisha a gift. No, I don't see that. Where are you getting that? From? It's in the front of you. This is this is the book of Asbab in Nuzul. The reason for the verse to come down. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. So why you are quoting for me for me a verse have nothing to do with the topic. I I don't know where you got that verse. It's in the front of you. Don't tell me it is in front of me. It's in the front of you in the screen. The this is Asbab in Nuzul. Do you know what Asbab in Nuzul mean? Yeah, but where is it's in the front of you. <laughs> what is the first? It's in the front of you. You will say again, what's the first? It's in the front of you. Stop saying to me, where's the verse? So the verse you gave me have nothing to do with the topic and the purpose of it because people do not know what is behind this verse is lying to us. The Quran say clearly that you cannot take friends even your father and your brother, yes or no? Can you be a friend? Can you be a friend for someone he is your brother from your mother in Islam? Sorry? Can you be a friend for someone he is your brother from your blood according to Islam? Can I be offended by someone? No, no. Can you be a friend to someone he is your mm -hmm. real brother and your real father if he isn't a Muslim in Islam? Um, I don't know about that. So you can be friend to me, but you cannot be friend to your brother. Well, I probably I didn't understand you. If it's my brother, I will repeat. I will repeat. Mother, yes, why your not? mother, your mother, she gave birth to two guys. One, his name is Abdul, and the other one, his name is uh, uh, Ahmed. So yeah, sure. Ahmed, he left Islam, and you're uh, you are Abdul. Are you allowed to take Ahmed, which is your brother from your mother and your father? Are you allowed to take him as a friend? No. So why you are lying to me saying that you can take me as a friend, but you cannot take your brother as a friend? Because my brother was a Muslim before who left it mm -hmm. and now went on his own way. Okay. But you don't know about Islam. Okay. You're just being ignorant. So I have to okay, give you the knowledge. Okay. So I have to be your friend first. right? Okay. So they're two different things. Hold on. So you are saying if somebody leaves Islam, you cannot be a friend to him, correct? Uh, if they're doing anything against Islam, this is no. another question. If somebody leaves Islam, you cannot be a friend to him. Yes or no? Uh, it depends on the situation. Not everybody. What situation? Like, what situation? You, you, you're manipulating you the facts. You're just told me. You just, just told me. talking you're, in general. You just told me because he left Islam. 
why you cannot take and if he's doing anything against islam i can't be friend with him if he is doing anything against islam yes okay like what like what killing other muslims for no reason okay where in the verse it says if he is king he want to take you as a friend the guy he want to take you as a friend how he is killing muslims and he want to take you as a friend what if he is killing muslim that means he will kill you because you are yeah his, yeah so i can't but, take him as but friend it says, it says you me. are not allowed to take him as a friend if he is your enemy he is fighting you there is no way you will be friend anyway so you are exactly. lying again you are lying again the, shall we go no. and read the interpretation for the verse? Sure. Okay. What 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 interpretation you like me to read for you? Whichever you like. Okay. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is saying that you cannot take your father and your brother and anyone from your clan as a friend. And actually, it's the verse saying that you will not find one a Muslim, one true Muslim. Take them as a friend if they are opposing Allah. So the second you oppose Allah, you are not to be friend. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Well, all Christians oppose Allah. Wait, wait. Before you say that, why are you speaking for all the Christians? Well, uh, the Christians. And what type of Christians are you talking about? The Protestants, the Catholics, the Roman Catholics? All of them. Like you are in general all saying them, that all, all of them, the Christians my friend, my friend, hate Allah. Allah. Stop, 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 stop. Do you even know what Allah means? It's your creator. You can't. Okay, hold on, 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 potato. Hold on. I challenge you in front of all the ones listening. Hold on, just to show you that you are a potato. You are a potato. Show me. No, no, I didn't call you names. No, I'm not calling names. You are who you are because now you are saying things. You are saying things which is stupid. You are saying things which is stupid. First of all, you should say sorry for calling me potato. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, because I'm going to fry you in front of everybody. Everybody will lie. Everybody lie. Everybody lie. Or you can hang up. Or you can hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. You are a liar. Where you get to me that Allah? You are calling liar again. Where you say? Where you get where you got where you got showing the that you are like that a Allah, the word Allah, you're you're a Christian here, right? We cannot we cannot so, talk over each other. Listen, listen. Where no, you, I, I, where I you get to me? Say, sorry, First of, you call me shut up. I didn't call you anything. Shut up. You just yes, you said to me, you said to me, you, you, you did insult me. How did I insult you? You said to me right? how you are talking in the name of the Christians, right? Which you, you are saying I'm a Christian. You are saying you are representing the whole Christian. Yes, I, I represent I, the whole Christian. I represent the whole Christian. Who don't because have a Christian, you. because and they a call Christian. Listen, Christians. listen. So it's not you. Lying. It's not you who decide who is a Christian, who is not. This is number one. You are just. I'm not dude. deciding. You are deciding. Okay. You no, are you are the one who said to me. Like, you, you are the one who said to me there is a Protestant, there is a Catholic. So now you are saying to me that if you are a Catholic, you are not Christian, right? No, no, no. I didn't say that. You are saying that. Shut up. When did they shut up? Then shut up. Listen. You said to me that uh, Allah, Allah, right now, Allah like, means the Creator. Please, where you get this from? Calm down. Where, calm where down. the word Allah? Shut up. You are the one who had a, have no courage to say what you just said. No, no, no. You are a hypocrite. You, you are a hypocrite. That's why you don't want me to talk. You don't want me to talk. You just say that how Allah, how means, how Allah is a word meaning the Creator. Where you get this from? Get what from, sir? You just said Allah is a word meaning the Creator. I challenge you to show me the proof. Where the word Allah it says no, in no, the no, Quran, don't, don't deviate. Why did you call me a potato? So sorry for that. Then we can continue. I don't feel sorry for you. You are a potato liar. Okay, and another thing, you're calling me a liar. Like I'm sorry because you are Christian, because, and okay, trying to then prove me wrong. Christianity. You see, this is not the prove me wrong. Way. Prove me wrong, and then I will call myself potato for you. I'm sorry, sir. I will no, call I don't, myself I don't want potato to call for you. Potato. potato is someone he changed his shape as the soil is. So you change your shape. You are just a shape no, changer. No, no. You are a hypocrite. No, you are not real. You, you, then you okay. call me. You call me to shut up. Now you're calling you me. You see. You see. You I'm keep. You keep changing the topic like a snake. That's the type of response you get. You are like a snake. You are like a snake. You change the topic from a place to a place. We start talking about this verse. And I got you busted, and now you want to talk about the cat no, no, and about the didn't Protestant. Ask me about anything. So no, you, you change the, the topic. You are changing the, the topic. You got upset. Okay, hold on. Me hypocrite, potato, liar. You are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. You said to me you can take me as a friend. I said to you, no, you cannot even no, no. take your wait, father wait, and your wait. brother as a friend. You said to me wait. if they are killing the, the the Muslims, where in the Quran, where in the Quran it says that the Christians were killing the Muslims? Can you show me the verse? 
Where in the Bible it says you can call me potato for no reason? The Bible okay. says, no, the, I can call you more. I can call you a viper. I can call you a snake. I can show you the verses. No problem. I know. I know. You can call me that because that's how you are. <laughs> I'm being that's nice, actually. I'm being nice and I call you potato. You don't deserve it. Potato is good and delicious. You are not. So I please, no, 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 no. please no, don't sorry. change the topic. I, you can call don't, me. Don't Anybody change can the call topic. Me, don't change the topic. But I don't expect it from you from a no, platform like no, this. When everybody is singing no, and listening. No, to no we are here getting busted the liars and you are lying I, to I us. didn't. I didn't insult you at any you case. Did, you if did. I'm getting you busted, did, maybe my did. knowledge is less. By and I'm lying, trying to learn from you. The first, but instead, the first, instead of giving me something good, the first insult. Shut up and get out. The first insult is lying. You are insulting all those who they are listening. You keep saying I can take the Christians as a friends, and your prophet in the Quran said it clearly: you cannot. You can't even take your brother as a friend. And you just said to me, if someone, uh, my brother, he leave Islam, I cannot take him as a friend. The verse did not say that they are fighting you. Anyone oppose Allah, which means anyone reject to believe in Allah or Muhammad. You cannot take them as a friend. You are a liar. And the funny, they speak about hate. Chapter 5, verse 14 in the Quran says that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. What kind of God does God is unless he is the devil? Is that your Quran? Or this is a Christian prince? So they claim, they play victims. Oh, why you hate Muslim? I don't hate Muslims. It's you who hate yourself. It's you who hate everybody, including your family, just for the sake of Allah. And for the sake of a false prophet. If we go in chapter 5, verse number 14, we will find that Allah is saying supposedly, Aka Muhammad, this is the true God of Islam. Allah has spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. Your God Allah is a Satan, is the devil. So you call me, you play victim. Why you are teaching hate? We are not teaching hate. Jesus says, love your enemy. I did not call you a snake, even though you deserve to be called a snake. So if you think you've been insulted, you are insulting us all day long. The Quran calls us kuffar. The Quran, every day you recite Al-Fatiha, you curse us. You say, Allah, don't make us the same as the Christian, the same as the Jews. Five times a day. Five times a day, the Muslims, they pray to Allah not to make them like us. And now he want to play victim. The Quran call us donkeys. The Quran call us animals. The Quran call us kuffar. The Quran call us najis, which means filthy, dirty. And the Quran believe in racist you know, uh, believe that Muslims and non-Muslims should be separated. And this is why if you go in Saudi Arabia, you will see signs in the street where it says Muslims and non-Muslims. If you don't believe me, I will show it to you in a second. Why they have signs for Muslims and non-Muslims? Because the Quran says, non-muslims are dirty so they are not allowed to enter any ground which is considered muslim holy ground why so they give us a speeches hoping that you are a bunch of fool and we can fool you and they play victims islam hate me i'm fighting the hate of islam Is that your uh, sign or this is my sign? Muslims only. What is that? This is exactly what they used to have in South Africa. But they have it until now. And this is the teaching of Allah. There's roads for Muslims and there's roads for non-Muslims. And if you take the wrong road, if you are not a Muslim, they will chop your head. Is that hate? This is hate. This is fascism. This is Nazi. This is racist. This is cult. This is ugly. And yet they claim that Islam is against 
hate. So what this verse in the front of us saying that Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians? Is that Allah talking or this is the neighbor? So look what they do. They always, you know, they do their best to play victims. If you notice the first caller, he says to me, peace. But all of us, we knew, they are not allowed to take us as a friends. The second one, he said, they claim the same. And not only that, he played victims that we are the bad ones and he is the good one. He's a prophet, call us all kinds of names, insulting us. The Quran says that the Christians and the Jews are the same as Al An'am, they are equal to animals. Here we don't play games. We show the proof. And potato is too much for you. Look what the Quran says about us. And look at the false translation. It says just like the cattle, but the fact it says they are not just like the cattle, they are more stupid than animals. So if I call you now, you are the same as a cattle, you will say you are insulting me. When Muhammad, he claimed, saying that the Jews are pigs and monkeys. If I call you a pig, you will say you are insulting me. If I say you are a monkey, you will say you are insulting me. But you call the Christians and the Jews pigs and monkeys and kuffar and dirty and filthy 24 hours, seven days a week. Since you are a child, it's okay. This is a game they play when they are speaking to non-Muslims. But between each other, they agree upon every word in the Quran. That yes, the Christians are the same as animals. And the Christians are Najis. And the Christians are Kuffar. And not only that. The Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, it says to kill the Christians and to force them to pay money to live with humiliation. So how come this guy is playing nice and kind? Because now they cannot do it. Which Islamic state is going to do jihad and will force American to convert to Islam or pay jizya? They cannot. So today, what we do? What we do? We play, we play nice. It's called taqiyya. Fight against those who don't believe in Allah from the Christians and the Jews specifically. For they don't believe in Allah and what is forbidden by Allah and Muhammad until they pay and be in a broad law. This is the translation of the Muslims. You have to humiliate them. You have to disgrace them. You have to beat them. You have to spit in their face. But this guy is saying, I cannot... So how I can bring Christians to Islam? Yeah, because now you have to. You cannot go and do this. So now you have to play that you are a nice person. You have to play that Islam teach you to be nice to non-Muslims. But this is absolutely a lie. This is called taqiyya. Okay, call me again, Sam Smith. I will call you one more time. I will give you a chance to prove me wrong. Is that fair, guys? Let us see if this guy, he can prove us wrong. The, does the Quran says you have to kill the Christians and the Jews?
Answer. Answer, answer. Don't want you don't you want to show us that we are wrong? Go ahead. He's not answering. You will not answer? Hello. Okay, is that the verse in the front of you? Is that from the Quran or my fabrication? Uh, that was from the Quran. Okay. Does it say to kill the Christians? Yes or no? Uh, why are you attacking me again? What do you mean attack Christians and Jews? As yes or no? Did I like you I'm call me back? I'm, to I'm asking you, you about the Quran. I'm, not, I'm talking about you. On? Who are you? You are no one. I'm asking you. Does the Quran say? No, no, no. Like what was going on does in the, the chat? Does the Quran? You, you hung does up the Quran? On me, then you started saying all these things I, I, I that you didn't say when up, I was online. You're trying to change the topic. I'm giving you a chance. Now you're changing topic. I'm giving you a chance to prove that, to prove yourself. Does the Quran says to be an enemy to the Christians and not only to be an enemy to kill them? Yes or no? What do you mean yes or no? Will you have to say either yes or you say no? The Quran says no, 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 no. kill wait, the wait, Christians wait, and wait, the Jews wait, wait, unless wait, wait. unless they pay you. Do you agree with it? No, no, I don't agree with you. No, not with me, with the Quran. Do you agree with the Quran? Chapter 9, verse 29 says, kill the Christians and the Jews unless they pay you and then they can live and they have to be humiliated. Do you agree with the verse? Yes. Okay. So now you agree that you should kill us as a Christian. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Before you move on, where does it say Christian or Jews? It's in the front of you. Well, it says fight against those who have been given the scripture. Okay. Who are they, those who are given the scriptures? Then okay. Name, wait. Name them who believe you. in not Allah, not the last day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all of you who receive the scripture don't believe in that. It's talking about those guys. I'm assuming who? you who? believe in it. <laughs> Listen, listen, Abdul, Abdul, listen, 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 listen. Okay, you see, don't I don't want to talk with kids. Listen, which is scholar? Which is okay? Which is scholar? Which is scholar? Explain this verse to you. Sorry, which is scholar is the one who explained this verse to you? You as a Muslim, you learned this verse meaning from who? I am reading it in front of you and okay, understanding but, but, the of it. but you, who is the one who explained it to you? Are you are, like, do you speak Arabic? No, I don't. But I'm okay. really how you know then? And I'm assuming how, how you are saying to me? Read. How you are saying to me that the people of the scriptures oh, is not the? So you're saying I have to know Arabic to talk to you now? You have to know Arabic to speak to Allah. Uh, not really. How, how you pray to Allah? You pray in English or you pray in Arabic? I do some verses in Arabic. No, that's a lie. You are not allowed to pray to Allah not, in any not, language. Not English, I'm Arabic. sorry. My first language is Bangla, so I okay. use Okay, uh, Abdul, listen, listen. Don't waste my time. You see, I'm trying not to speak Abdul. to you. I'm trying to speak Thank to you as an adult, but you are trying to play like a kid. I'm asking no, you. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm if not you want to understand, you, you said you want to do da'wah, right? You want to bring me to Islam. Okay, I want to come to Islam. I want you okay. to explain to me this verse. You explain it according to who? I don't get it what you're saying. Are you, you a just, person? Are the you topic as a person? started with that are, you the Quran as a, says, are you as a person? Listen, Christian are you as a Jews, person? And I showed you the verse doesn't say that. Okay, it's and now you're going okay, to you else. say it, you say it, this verse saying that the Muslim should kill those who've been given scriptures. Who are the those who are given scriptures? Yeah. Who are they? Only not that. Read the whole thing. Just tell me, no, 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 we did read the whole thing. Tell me the names of those who are giving scriptures, you have to kill them. Okay, tell me the names, tell me the names, tell me the names of those who you have to kill them. You said they are people of the scriptures. Tell me the names of those people you have to kill them. Um, atheist, you have to kill atheist. Yes, the atheist has been given scriptures. Uh, they were they rejected it so now if you see an atheist in england you will kill him no 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 no, no. that's not the thing it doesn't say go find them and kill them it doesn't say that ah. don't manipulate the thing mm. get lost i said to you potato i apologize you are a donkey You don't even deserve to be called potato. You want to kill the atheist? 
<laughs> Supposedly he fixed it now. Now he fixed it, guys. He don't want to kill the Christian. He want to kill the atheist. This is what those are the ones you bring them to America and you bring them to Europe. Good luck with that. A second ago, he was saying he want to be friend to everybody, and now he want to kill us. So if I am an atheist, according to him, but the verse doesn't say, by the way, atheist is a liar, is a potato. It says those who are giving the scriptures specifically, there's only two groups are giving scriptures in Islam, Christians and Jews. And just to get you busted, you idiot, the verse after it, it says, who are they? You are a certified liar and stupid. Do you see it? The verse after it, that's the second verse. It says, who are the those who the Muslims should kill them? It's just the verse after it. Well, you are an idiot. Yeah, you want to kill the atheists. You want to kill the Christians. You must be an idiot. We as a Christians, we are smarter than you. We don't want to kill you. We want to save you. You see, the Christians are opening their doors for you. They allow you to come to their countries, even to worship your God and to live with respect. But you Muslims, because you follow this mad, crazy cult, you just, everybody heard you saying you want to kill the atheist. <laughs> no wonder there's no atheist in Bangladesh. When they ask Ahmed in Ajad, he said, in my country, there is no gays, there is no lesbian, and there is no atheist. Because nobody dare to say, because Islam is a wonderful religion. Have you ever heard of a country have zero atheist? Have you? Have you ever heard of a country have zero gays and lesbian? Have zero even Christians? Because Islam is a religion of terrorism. And this guy, he have a terrorist belief. He just said, and everybody heard him. Guys, why we have only 8, uh, 815 like? I mean, come on, we are bringing you all those people from around the world. I just, this is a special order from Bangladesh. Too bad, you know, we are not getting Zakir Naik to call us. We are getting those. And this guy, supposedly, he have a knowledge. And, you know, by the way, when you speak about Catholic and Protestant, that's because of your ignorance. Even your prophet agree that the most divided religion is Islam. Let me get you busted. And we don't believe in such a garbage. This is your prophet saying. The prophet said the Jews will split into 71, 72 sect, and the Christian will split into 71, 72 sect, and the Muslim will split, split into 73 sect. So which Muslims are you? One only will go to heaven according to Islam. And they are the minority. See, the translation here says the main body. It doesn't say that. It says Ahlul Jama'ah. But all of them, they claim to be Jama'ah, the group. All of them. Every Muslim sect claim that they are the one who will go to heaven. In Christianity, we don't have such a garbage. Jesus says, whoever believe in me, and I will live. You are Catholic, you are Protestant. Those who believe in Jesus, they are saved. Those who follow Jesus, they are saved. Those who do the teaching of Jesus, they are saved. The name of the church is not important. And anyone he fool you says, if you are Protestant, you are saved. He is lying to you. You are Catholic, you are saved. You are saved only if you follow Jesus. Which means being a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox does not matter. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the door. I am the resurrection. And the one who believe in me will never die. So being a Catholic or being a, this is a, just a name. Me, myself, I'm none of them. I'm a follower of Christ. 
Why well, I want to follow a priest? Who need a priest? Who need a priest? Who need a bishop? Who need a who need, who need a pope? We need only one person. His name is the Messiah. In your religion, your chance to go to heaven is one to seventy-three. Which means the chance of the Jews and the Christians to go to heaven, according to your prophet, not to me, is 72 to 1. In Islam, is 73 to 1. Good luck with that. Christ, he established one church. There's no churches. The churches, the, the division is because people, they... Uh, you know, they follow politics. It's all because of politics. Go and check the history. And Jesus have nothing to do with all the games of the politician. People make business by dividing the Christians. False prophets, false teachers divide people. There is only one name, unite us all. His name is the Messiah. And no other name to follow. And anyone he says to me, follow me. He's a bishop, he's he's a liar, he's a fake, he's a false. There's no savior beside him. And the Bible says, who is the liar? Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son, and that is Muhammad. He is not the Antichrist, he is one of the Antichrist. Any Christian, he believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He is a Christian. If he don't, he is no Christian. I don't care what church he go to. So it's not me or you who decide who is a Christian or not. It is a Christ. Jesus said, from their fruits you shall know them. Not from their names. My name is a Christian prince. But who said that will make me Christian? Absolutely not. Our God is not a God you can fool him by changing your names or by giving some donation like in Islam who promised Muhammad, he promised people if they give money, Allah forgive them. Since when we can bribe God? Hmm? Since when, if you are a person who give money, God will forgive you. What kind of God does God is? You see, we try our best to give the Muslim a chance, but sadly, look at them. One after one. I mean, the verses in front of us, the interpretation in front of us, and we are showing their own Islamic books, yet they always try to deceive us. Muhammad, he asked for a loan. And he claimed that if you give Muhammad a mortgage, Allah will forgive your sin. This is a very clear sign of a false prophet and a scammers. Tell your followers, give me money, you are forgiven. Does it say that, guys? Does it say that? And what kind of God he need a loan? Who is the one who need a loan? Muhammad. Who is the one who will receive the money? Muhammad. So if you give Muhammad a mortgage, this is a mortgage to Allah. And if you give it to Muhammad, Allah forgive your sin. Have you ever heard of such a way of forgiveness? If you donate to Christian prince, you do not donate. Who said that God will forgive your sin? What does this have to do with forgiving your sin? And since when God he need loans and mortgage? If God he don't need money, who so who? <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. This God is begging for money. Isn't it obvious that this is a scam?
how much money Jesus he receive? Did Jesus say is the one who give me money? I will forgive his sin. Since when? Muhammad is the same as a scam. We see them today even in Christian churches. They make a scam TV stations. Call now and receive the blessing. So now, if you call this station, you receive the blessing. And how you receive the blessing? By giving them money. And do you know where your money is going? This is Muhammad. He used God for his pocket. There is one thing all false prophets, they share. Money, scandals, and sex scandals. They try to subdue God for the benefit of their private part and their pocket. All of them. And you can go right now, search in Google, and find how many false cult, cult leaders, what they share together. All of them share one thing. They sleep with the women, they follow them, and they take the money of people who follow them. As simple as that. Not a single one of them was, or we can say like he don't want really anything. He's just a believer in something. Rise at the debate, Yahya Walani, Waluni. Who is this Yahya Waluni? My friend, to bring me any Waluni you want. I can take Waluni number one, Waluni number two, Yahya Waluni, Yahya Baluni, we take, or Yahya Balloon, uh, uh, we take Yahya, whatever Yahya you have, bring him to me. Actually, debating uh, ignorant kids is a lot harder than debating someone he knows what he's talking about. Like this guy, he can say whatever he wants. And he's jumping like a monkey from place to place. My friend, uh, those who ask for your money, claiming that money can bring you to God or to heaven, they are scammers. Never trust them, never believe them, and never follow them. Actually, the Quran said that the followers of Jesus in chapter 36, they never asked for wages. They never what? Ask for wages. Even the Quran witnessed for that. So Muhammad is asking for wages. Any Muslim have an idea? How come the disciple of Jesus they never ask for wages? But Allah Himself need wages, Allah Himself need money, and Muhammad Himself need money. Those are the followers of Jesus. Do you see it? The Quran witness that Paul and John and Peter, Peter, Simon Peter, they never ask for fees. So why Muhammad he need money? You know why. You cannot buy God by money, my friend. God is not a fool. He do not need your money. You cannot bribe God. You are bribing Muhammad. Muhammad is a person fooling you, taking your money, put it in his pocket, getting more wives and more power. But you don't care for God. In chapter 9, verse 29, 
Muhammad he ordered to kill the Christians because the verse before it says after he forbid non-Muslim from entering Mecca the Muslim they fear poverty so Muhammad says to them don't worry let us attack the Christians and take their money do you see it read it chapter 9 verse 28 all who you believe the adulterers only or unclean the fact here says nudges which means more than unclean filthy dirty like we mean you cannot wash them so let them not to come near the the city of Mecca and Medina fascist cult believe there is people can be dirty and people can be clean just because of religion after this year and if you fear a proverb poverty poverty okay what is the solution what you do if you fear Allah will find you different way, different merchandise. What is the merchandise? Read it. Fight against the Christians and kill them and take their money or make them, force them to pay money. Do you see it? So chapter 29, ch chapter 9, verse 29, was because... Muhammad trying to find the source of money not because he want to spread Islam and the proof in front of you and even to make it more clear he says if they pay you let them live see he want he don't want them to convert to Islam he want them to pay stay alive every month you give us money so, which means you can bribe the God of Islam. I can worship the wrong God. Listen, Muhammad, he claimed that Jesus is not God. So how come he want to kill the infidels, but if I pay him, I can stay alive? Do you see it? Because simply he is a thief. He is a gang leader. Anyway, guys. Thank you for being here. Our time is up. We are here for long enough. Uh, don't forget, please, to download my videos because I'm going to remove them, starting from this one and the one before and the one before. So after we finish, wait maybe for 20 minutes and download the video, please, and repost it in your language, whatever, subtitle, do as you wish, and share it with your friends. I want to say thank you for all those who came here and always they uh, support us in every way, in every mean. And... Uh, I, uh, you know, I wish sometime I can have more patience with those liars. But sometime, you know, I mean, even the Lord himself, he loses his patience with their lies. Because their lies is beyond patient. I mean, those people, you talk to them, they think that we are a bunch of fool. I mean, we show them the verses in front of our eyes and they say, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't say that. Then we show them their own interpretation. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't say, and then we ask them, what interpretation you like? They gave us one, and you gave us two, and we show it to them, and then still they say, I don't agree with that, but you are the one who told me. They are possessed. There's a satanic spirit. Come with this belief. And they think by lying, we will not see it. My, my friend, it doesn't work this way. We are not a bunch of fools. And here we get you busted every time. So thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again soon, I leave you with the peace of Christ. And we pray that the Muslims will see the truth and the truth will set them free. And I pray that time will come and all the lies in this earth will be defeated. And people will live in peace. His name is peace. His name is beautiful. His name is a miracle. And no, no name can help you 
God is not a private part vendor as in Islam. God will not make for us women just for fun. That is an insult to your mother and my mother. Shame on you. Women are not sex toys. God is not going to take us to heaven to be like a bunch of pigs, do nothing except eating and having sex. That is not God. That is a pig farmer growing pigs for the slaughter day. He will feed them with garbage, anything, just to grow big. So don't feed yourself with garbage, for that day is coming when you discover that you were fooling yourself and you were swallowing garbage. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. And please don't forget to download the video immediately after we finish. Thank you.